Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of lightweight action between Sweet Pea, Pernell Whitaker, and Roberto Duran. Sweet Pea, Pernell Whitaker's entrance here. What a ring walk. Just brimming with confidence, ready for the task at hand. Roberto Duran's ring walk, something special in the air. You can just sense it out of him. Protect yourself at all times. Okay? Let's touch him up. And we are underway for this scheduled 12-rounder. Well, Teddy, here in this matchup, two guys who tend to go the distance. What do we look for early? You know, I'm looking to see who can be more consistent in just one area. Who uses their jab a little bit steadier? See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Blocks that belt line well. Punched by Roberto Duran. That's what Sweet Pea does best. Good counter punch. Halfway through this round here. Blocks the headshot. Defense turns to offense by Pernell Whitaker. You know, we only show up when it's time to watch them do their thing for the fight, but they're really working at it day in and day out just to make weight. What's so tough about making weight in boxing? Well, it can weigh you down. I mean, it takes discipline. And all of a sudden, it allows you a trail of excuses because now you can start to say, well, gee, you know, I didn't do this. You know, I, I, it's the drudgery of it, and it's the consistency of it. When you have to stay at a weight, you have to watch that weight, you have to balance it where you're also going to be able to have a physicality when you get in the ring. You don't want to be weak, so you want to get that right balance where you're disciplined, you get the weight down, but you don't lose that physical edge. Nice block by Pernell Whitaker. Jab up top, then the hook to the body. Locks away that headshot. Oh, Whitaker with a counter punch. Good counter punching there with the overhand right. Herndell Whitaker's really working well. That last round, he was accurate. Look at the punch numbers. Lean to the side, then boom. Got a counter punch. Okay, listen. Body and head. Body and head. Double up with your punches. Double. I need you to move your head off, side to side. Don't let it keep its distance from you, okay? I want you to go. Here we go. Round two is underway. <laughs> nice block by Pernell Whitaker. Oh, that 
That's got to hurt. Roberto Durant's in bad shape. Blocks that punch. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And now you're seeing the beard that this guy possesses because he went from stunned and damaged to staying right upright. Oh, this is like Santa Claus's beard. I'm telling you right now. And a good counter by Pernell Whitaker. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Pernell Whitaker with a counter punch. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. the punch comes back with the hook. Ernell Whitaker's doing a beautiful job here early on of counter punching. Yeah, it's going to pay off for him later on. You know, we talk about body work paying off for you down the road, like investing, putting money in the bank. Well, counter punching pays off too because your opponent becomes a little tentative and then down the stretch, he's not busy enough. Ernell Whitaker's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Parries that punch away. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Oh! Roberto Duran's in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Roberto Duran. Able to dismiss it. Ernell Whitaker's proving that he's here to fight. Just look at the punch stats. Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be no Thomas to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. Nice block by Pernell Whitaker. And a good counter by Pernell Whitaker. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Wow, is he defensively sound. Oh, that's got to hurt. Roberto Durant's in bad shape. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. He went from almost being knocked out to being right back in it. He missed with that headshot. Committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. Ernell Whitaker's hand speed right now, the difference with what we just saw, able to land that combination. Yeah, he's probably going to need a little bit more down the road, but right now, that's got him in front. What a smart combination by Pernell Whitaker. Duran able to land the counter punch. 
Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. Well, what do they say, Teddy? Something's got to stick? That combination was something. Well, you know what it was? The first couple punches were throwaway punches. Set up the later punches. Blocks away that headshot. Oh, and there you go. Roberto Durant's almost out of it there. He was stunned. Durant with a block. Not precise at all by Pernell Whitaker. Devastating blow by Pernell Whitaker. Wow! Roberto Durant's been stunned! Gonna take this. Slip this punch and throw us straight right down the middle. I need you to watch. Wait for us. Boom. underway and in that last round he got tagged he got hit pretty hard teddy yeah he did he got caught now the first thing is we all know he got caught but why did he get caught he has to be able to decipher that in his head he has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't have to get oh and look at this teddy wasting no time getting to know each other no they came right to the center ring said hello now that's some sharp offensive maestro work there by Roberto Duran. Able to cover up that gut. Duran able to land the counter punch. A snapping combination by Pernell Whitaker. Pernell Whitaker's been having great success with these combinations, Teddy. Well, there's a reason for it. He's using his jab to start it, and then he's letting the punches go, he's letting the hands follow. And he returns on that exchange. And a smart left hand by Pernell Whitaker. Roberto Duran's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye, on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. Sweet piece, sweet block. He just missed that shot up top. Holy cow! Roberto Duran's in a tough spot now, down on the canvas. How will he recover? One, two, three, four, five. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on the... Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? Away from those punches. One, two, head. three, four, five. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. Blocks the headshot. <laughs> Able to cover up along the belt line. Oh! Roberto Duran's in a bad place right now. He was tagged. Gets rid of that body shot. End of this round. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Now they got some work to do here. Their man was just dropped. Yeah, the first thing is you put some cold water. You can't use that. You clear his head, and you tell him why he was dropped. You need to cover up, okay? Leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. 
a jab to get on the inside and take a right. But set everything up with the jab. Find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down. He was on the canvas. Now look, he wants to tie his opponent up. That's the best way to get through right now. But what he doesn't want to do, Joe, is to reach in there, you know, reach out to grab this guy, and then he leaves himself open. He's going to make sure that his opponent's close enough. When he goes to grab him, he's not exposing himself to get dropped again. Good block by Duran. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Roberto Duran's got to prove a few things here. Number one, he's got to prove to his opponent that he's on good ground after being knocked down in the last round. But he's also got to prove it to the referee, too. Yeah, he does. And his corner. Because his corner, I just noticed, they put that towel over their shoulder. So they know the condition their fighter's in. They know their responsibility. And they're ready to act on it. showing a little bit of a defensive shell but Teddy I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard you know that's the problem Joe when you put those earmuffs on but you don't move your head some of them are going to get through and just as importantly you handcuff yourself so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer knowing that nothing's coming back right away getting him into the place he wants to that's against the ropes Hernell Whitaker staying away from trouble. He's out there on the outside. I don't know how they are keeping this up. They are setting such a scorching pace of action in this fight. One minute to go in a round that feels like an all-time classic. Punch for punch, they're meeting each other. What a fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Roberto Duran. Solid counter punch by Pernell Whitaker. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. The start of the sixth round. Hernell Whitaker's looking like he's refreshed for this round. He is hurt, and he's playing keep away now. He needs to stay away. A stinging counter punch after some fine defense by Pernell Whitaker. Hernell Whitaker's punch stats have shown one thing to me, and that he is committed and effective with the jab tonight, and that's making it so that he can then get the payoff on the inside. Yeah, exactly. It's getting him there. It's opening the door. It's bringing him into that room, so to speak but he's able to get a clean alleyway to get in there safe and then go to work. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Well, one guy's on the inside and doing well, but the other one, he doesn't look comfortable. No, he's not. Oh, Roberto Durant's legs look knocked down again. Unreal! Now you gotta wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they gonna stop this? One, two, three, four, five. It's over! The fight is over! Arnell Whitaker's got the win by way of knockout. He put his man down, and the 10th count was administered. Sweet B. Whitaker!
MVP, Pernell Whitaker, is your winner by knockout. Everybody but his opponent is happy now. That was an entertaining fight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.